Hey everyone, I'm Mind, and this is set number 21168, The Warped Forest from the LEGO Minecraft theme. This set contains 287 pieces, 3 minifigures, and 1 hoglin, and retails for $29.99 in the US. I was so excited when the set was revealed. I love Minecraft, and the Nether update was probably my favorite Minecraft update of all time, and the Warped Forest is probably my favorite biome in that update. So to see we were getting a set based on it, I was really excited. And I have to say, they did it really, really well. The colors on the set are incredible. It's absolutely perfect. They use the new teal color, which if you've been listening to my live streams or the Woo Crew podcast, you may have heard me talk about how I feel like this color is really overused right now. It's not bad, it's just used in a lot of sets. However, this set, I think, potentially uses it the best. I would have expected them to just go with like a light blue, but they want the teal instead, and it works perfectly as the warped fungus. They use it for the warped warp blocks and like the leaves of the trees, and then the warped anelium on the ground and everything. It just looks so, so good. So we'll start at the left side right here because there's a little bit of terrain. You have a little uh, Minecraft fire piece coming out right here. This is a pretty common piece nowadays. It didn't used to be, but now it comes in quite a few sets. But it's still really nice to get. It's a really cool piece and I like it a lot. And then you have your first like warped fungus tree right here. It's really interesting how they did like the trunk of the tree. It's just solid purple bricks with a couple trans pink bricks all throughout. And I think that works really well. It doesn't like exactly represent what it, how it looks in game, but it's a nice just like interpretation of it, I suppose. You can see this tree also has a shroom light coming out. You can see this can very easily be removed. And this is just made of trans yellow and trans orange tiles on top of white. And you can see with that removed, there's just a little jumper piece on the tree, and I still think the tree looks really nice. I also appreciate how they capture the look of the tree having, like, the blocks hanging down. It's not like the typical Minecraft tree. It's, they designed to actually look how the warped fungus is looking game. Yeah, I really, really like how that was done. There's another, like, warped fungus tree right here. This one is taller. You can see it has the uh, warped wart hanging down a lot further right here. And there's actually a play feature with this tree. If you turn this thing around, you can see there's a little Technic piece, some TNT, and then there's the tree, obviously. If you push down this Technic piece right here, it'll, like, blow up the tree. Here's how that looks from the front. You can see this entire upper section just falls off just like that, and then the trunk falls down. I think this is really cool. It actually creates a bridge across the lava right here. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of play features in Minecraft sets. I'd prefer if they were just big terrain builds, but I understand why play features are included, and I think this is a pretty good one. And it's very easy to remove if you don't want it. If you want to have that just be a tree, you can make it a tree very easily. But if you do want to use the play feature, it is an interesting one. Speaking of lava, you can see that there's a little lava pit right here, and if you move up, you can see that there's a bit of a lava fall. And if you really want to make this a lava fall, there's a little play feature with it. You just pull back on this tab right here, and the lava actually falls. You get two lava blocks just like this, fairly simple, you can just have them fall on Steve or whatever other like Minecraft character you have walking by. On the other side, you can see there's a little bit more terrain, you have two like little warped funguses right here. And then it comes into a little bit of a soul sand valley, you don't get very much of it here, but you get like one little bit of a fossil, some like soul sand ground, and some fire coming out. This fire is the most disappointing part of the set for me. This set's based around the nether update, this is fire on top of soul sand, it would have been really really cool if they made a new trans blue fire piece for this set. I understand they're not going to have new colors for every piece in every set, but it would have been really really nice looking would have represented this much better because if you guys didn't know as of the nether update any fire placed on soul sand will be blue not red so it doesn't really make sense for this to be here on top of soul sand but that's just a minor thing and other than that i do really love this set there's a look at that fossil fairly simple build and if we start turning the set around you can see underneath the lava fall there's some jumper plates these are where you can attach glowstone if you want you get two pieces of glowstone on the set. It's the same build they've used previously it uses glow and dark bricks combined with trans yellow pieces and like uh olive green I don't know if the olive green is the best color to represent glowstone, but I do like the actual like, glow in the dark bricks. I think that's pretty cool. Both those are moved. You can see the exposed jumper pieces right here. And then here's a little tab in the back that you can pull or push to create the lava fall. But that's about it for the build of this set. It's a Minecraft set. It's more terrain than anything, so there's not usually a ton to talk about. However, it just looks really nice. I love the color combination. The play feature is fun. And it's a really good representation of these two biomes other than the fire thing. So now let's move on to the minifigures. Here are the first two minifigures in the set. We have two piglins. This one has full golden armor and this one just has a gold chest plate. These guys are amazing. I said this on the Wooker podcast. This guy might be my favorite minifigure of this year. I'm kind of shocked because Minecraft figures, while they look good, are very, very simple. And this guy's no exception. But he's just such a perfect representation of this mob. And I absolutely love how he was done. The new head mold is incredible. He's got like this rectangular head with the snout coming out and the two like bright white eyes. Then he has the two floppy ears on the side, which are really cool. I've never gotten gold armor before. It's cool to get two sets in a $30 set. That's really appreciated. And they each come with gold swords here as well. Here's how the piglin looks with the armor removed. I'm not going to take this guy's armor off because they both have the same torso print underneath. And as I said, it's a Minecraft figure. It's going to be a quite simple torso, but it does look really good and it represents the piglins well. I think the head might look a little big when the armor's not on with it. But with the armor on, this looks so, so nice. 
And then turning these guys around, you can see the back of the piglin's head as well as the back torso print. As a whole, these guys are great, genuinely great. I can't say a ton about them because they are very simple, but it's absolutely perfect. I love these minifigures. Next, here's the final minifigure in this set as well as the Hoglin. This is a really good looking Minecraft skin. I appreciate that skins are included in sets at all and it's not just Alex and Steve, but the fact that you get three exclusive mobs, or I guess two, two piglins and one Hoglin, as well as an all new skin in this set is really nice when the set's only $30. You can also see right here, she has gold pants on which means you get two full sets of golden armor because one piglin has the chest plate and pants, one piglin just has the chest plate, and this one has the pants. So if you want, you could take the second set of armor off the piglin and put it on her. You could take these pants off her and put it on the piglin. It's just really nice to get two complete sets other than the helmet. It would have been nice if she included the helmet, but it's not a huge deal because you already get so much here. She comes with just like an iron pickaxe, pretty typical. It comes in a ton of sets. Nice looking torso print, and I love the magenta used on the head. And that's how she looks in the back. You can see she has a little bit of hair hanging down. Next, here's the Hoglin, and I know people have been very mixed on this guy. I kind of love him. I wasn't sure how I felt when I first built him, but the more time I've had with him, I actually really like this guy. He's definitely not perfect in terms of representing the mob in Minecraft, but I think he's cute and he represents it well enough. He's got the little play feature with his head where he could push back in his black bit right here and his head goes up so he can attack. I think that's really fun. It reminds me a lot of Zane's Mino creature, which is kind of impressive that they fit the same as that play feature in this tiny mob instead of the huge set. But yeah, as a whole, I like this guy. He's very simple and not the best representation of the Hoglins in-game, but he's good enough and I think he's cute. As a whole, very, very good minifigure selection. So, overall, would I recommend this set? 100% yes, I would definitely recommend this set. You know me, I love LEGO Minecraft, I think it's the best LEGO theme, and this set is a prime example of that. Every minifigure in this set is technically exclusive at this time, the skin's exclusive, both piglins are exclusive, and you get two of them here, and the hoglins an exclusive mob. It's only $30, you get a really nice and unique looking terrain build. I have nothing bad to say about this set. Actually, my main complaint is I wish it was bigger, I want more of this set. And I'm actually considering getting multiples of this set to extend the biome, because this is just really, really nice looking. It makes me happy to finally get LEGO Piglins, and another Minecraft skin is cool, and the biome just looks amazing, and I'm excited to expand my nether. Yeah, I think that's about all I gotta say. This is just a really, really good set, and if you're a fan of Minecraft or LEGO Minecraft, I highly recommend you pick this one up. This is great, and it's fairly affordable, too. But, those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please press like and subscribe if you're new. I do LEGO videos like this almost every day, so if you subscribe, you'll be the first to see them. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.